everybody, Dizzy Crafter here with a video of more sublimation. I probably am bombarding you a little bit with the sublimation, but it's just something new to me and I'm really, really enjoying it. Um, and I decided I wanted to do a pillowcase uh, for my friend. I mean, it's actually a cushion, actually, not a pillowcase, a cushion case. Um, I bought these from Team U. They don't come with the insert, so you do actually have to go and purchase an insert, which you can get from most stores, Dunnell, well, I've got to say Wilkerson's, but they've gone now. Um, there's just so many different places that you can get them, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, I think this one was 40 by uh, 40, but I'll just double check. So it's 30, 40, 38 by 38 centimeters um, and it's got nine squares that you can put photographs on and then you've got a blank piece at the back that you can actually put something else on if you do wish to do so um, so my, I thought well why not share doing this like what it's like because I did say on the haul that I did I was going to use some of the items in there and share with you what it was like and did it sublimate well so I thought well let's do this journey together I have to say though this fabric even that's 100% polyester it feels so nice and soft so it'd be really nice for my friend to actually just even maybe pop it on her bed or something because I could sleep on that it just feels really 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 nice so before we get started I've already printed out all the photographs I've needed um, and because of the sizes I could only fit two on an A4 piece of paper and I didn't want all the paper going to waste so I've just printed out different uh, circles and squares this one I forgot to change it to a uh, portrait so that one was no good anyway uh, but I can still use the circles again we've got these circles here uh, and I really like these heart ones and I was thinking maybe doing something with the earrings because they're quite small I could have done a coasters even and then we've got these and all these patterns are all from Creative Fabrica if I remember I will link them down below so that it saves you going by trying to find them so the next stage after printing everything out that you need to do is actually trim all the pictures now I've made my picture, pictures uh, half a centimetre bigger each side so that it gives it just that little bit of extra wiggle room um, in case I get it done so it gets on there properly I hope that makes sense so all I do is I take a metal edged ruler that is see through so I can see where I'm going and I just take a Stanley blade or craft blade and then we just cut them around. I want to get as close as I can for this because I haven't really got much wiggle room on those lines. It doesn't matter if I cut off a, a tiny sliver off because like I say I've gone slightly bigger than the actual squares because the squares was 10 centimetres and I've done it 10.5 uh, centimetres. That way all the pictures will be okay. So that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to trim all these down and then I'll be back with you. I'm going to bring the uh, pillowcase over to the heat press and I just need to add the temperature and let it get to that and wait for it to go green. Now it's hit the temperature we can put the pillowcase in and first of all we need to remove any moisture that may be in the pillowcase because it will not sublimate if there's any moisture or it won't be as good if we did so I'm just going to pull that with a teflon sheet over the top and then I'm just going to let it go down for the first 5-10 seconds I just want to take that out for the first 5-10 to 10 seconds there and all I do is press the green button so the next thing we need to do is put in a pillar inside of here just so that it protects the inside and the sublimation doesn't go on the inside. So I'll pop that in on off camera and then I'll be back. I'll pop the uh, pillow in the cushion inside and 
We're only going to manage to do the first six. Um, let me just lift my camera up so you can see a bit better. So we're only going to be able to do these first six and then we'll have to do these other three uh, at another time. So we just need to take a lint roller and we need to roll up any fibres that could possibly be on uh, and anything else. So we'll just take a lint roller and roll that over. And then you want to take your pictures and pop them where you want them to go and then we're going to take these down. So I'm just going to bob those on like so. And I'm not really looking where I want the pictures to go because I don't really think about it too much. Other than the centre one needs to be this little um, saying that I've, I've done here. So I want that one in the centre. So once we've got them lined up, we're just going to tape those down. I shall do the rest off camera and I'll be back once they're all taped. I have taped all six pieces down. It looks like, I, even though I made, measured it to 10 centimetres since flattening it, the squares have actually gone a little bit bigger. So my pictures are going to be having a white edge, unfortunately, even though I made it that centimetre bigger. Um, but it is what it is and there's nothing much I can do. So the next thing we need to do is bob some paper on top. Uh, you can use butcher's paper, whatever you desire. I just use copy of paper to be fair. And then bob it in and then press the start button. And then I'm just going to pull the tray. I'm just going to leave it there for a few seconds before removing anything. We'll remove the paper. And I can see the must, this black on here must be sublimation as well because it's actually put it on the paper there. So we can't use that paper again now. And what I want to do is just move this pillow that's inside over to this side so that we can do that side as well. I'm going to just like move it over to the side side there. In fact, I'm just going to actually have it so it's coming off the edge, if that makes sense. And I'm just going to pop the photos on there again then. So I've got it all taped up again and I want to try and just keep it so it's on the edge of where um, these last three photos are. I do need some fresh copy of paper to catch any bleed out. And I'm actually going to put the uh, Teflon sheet over the top as well because like I say, I didn't realise the black ink would come out as well. And then we're just going to sublimate that. So now that's done, I'll take it to the table and you can see what it looks like. First thing I need to do is remove the inner cushion. I'm not quite sure what these are called, but that's what I'm calling them, cushion, pad, whatever. And hopefully it did its job and there's no sublimation gone on anywhere, which I can't see it has. And then we can remove each picture. They've turned out really well actually for my first attempt. Obviously I've got a little bit of ghost in here because the pad wasn't hitting that. But that one's come out even better. And that one again, it better still. Totally missed, missed it here. You can see on the paper here that it's, it's not took very well there at all. So that's another one to watch out for but I'm sure my friend will still love it. And then we've got that. And another one. So I definitely need to make the pictures at least 11 by 11 on any future ones in, in the future, like so that it's not getting any of these white spaces. It's a, all a learning curve, isn't it? But for the price you pay on team you, you can't really complain. So that's the pillow, all I need to do now is go to the shops to get a cushion to put inside of it for her. And if I wanted to, I could actually sublimate on the back, but I don't think I will, because I've messed this one up terribly, and I may end up redoing it, but like I say, it's a learning curve, and I am made up that 
it's taken and I will be buying more of these from Team U and hopefully my friend likes it as well. So without uh, further ado, I'd like to say a big thank you for watching and I'd love it if you'd please comment, subscribe and give me your thoughts and uh, ideas of what I could do better and stuff. And hopefully catch you soon. Bye!